Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm sorry I look like this because I don't have my makeup on. I feel like by now you guys should know what I look like without makeup on anyway. So if this is your first time, hi. This is what my bare face, naked face looks like with skincare of course and sunscreen. I'm actually today going to be posting the vlog on me snowboarding alone. But in that vlog, I asked you guys if you guys prefer shorter vlogs or longer ones. So I haven't heard the feedback yet, of course, because I'm just posting the vlog like today. But here's another short vlog for you don't know if you guys are gonna like this but whatever yolo i am on my way to pick up my car you guys probably know by now that i bought my tesla used so one of the things is that Anyway, as I was saying before you fell, I got my car used and the previous owner, I don't think got the full self-driving, but I did since I got it used, I get it for free. So they had to go and update my computer so that it can handle the full self-driving. So basically I'm gonna go pick up my car. So far they've given me the Tesla Model X. So if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically the SUV Tesla, the one where the doors open up like that, if you know what I'm saying. It's honestly like my dream car, but it is just way too expensive and I just didn't want to save up any longer. I actually prefer a smaller car because I don't want to scratch like a big car in case I like fuck up one of my turns or something like that. Anyway, not the point. Point is, I finally get to pick up my car and the car is going to be fully self-driving, just like how it is right now. I'm not even driving the car. The loaner car that they gave me already has a self-driving. This is one of the older Model X's actually. I had so much fun with this car yesterday and even right now. It's just such an experience. I wonder if they purposely put me in this car so it makes me update my car and like upgrade to this later because I am totally sold. Okay, great marketing idea. Anyway, so I do want to talk a little bit while I'm here and just kind of like chilling about the differences between the Model X and the Model 3. So I have the Model 3. Okay, one difference is that the sun thingy is on the side so that was not intuitive because I was trying to figure out how to like use it but it's off to the side the experience of driving the Model X is actually really 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 nice one of the things I don't like about the Model 3 the turn signals are kind of weak and kind of suck the turn signals for this car is actually more normal so I really like that the doors all open automatically are you gonna change lanes for me? Because we are not exiting, sir. Oh my god, navigate on autopilot. Hello? Okay, I'm doing it myself. That was not a good experience, Tesla. It was actually my fault. I forgot to turn on the full self-driving. I just had the part self-driving going on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, trust Elon, trust Elon. Yes! Other cars are merging. The car just stopped for them. Thank you, Elon Musk. Honestly, I trust him more than I trust most men. This is what I'm saying. As I was saying, what am I saying? Okay, things I like about the Model X. The turning is a lot better. The turn signal is a lot better. The doors open automatically. So when I approached the car this morning, the front door literally just opened for me. You guys. It's like having a valet. Here is it coming off of the driveway. You're not even signaling. Oh wait, never mind. We're not there yet. I'm sorry guys, that's my fault. They were not supposed to merge. Okay. I feel like this video is also going to be a mess. I'm really sorry. If you guys like watching me freak out, I feel like these shorter vlogs are a lot better. Let him in, let him in, let him in. That was not my fault. That was not my fault. It's Elon's fault. Okay, sir, I'm sorry. Another guy was merging in and he was not letting the guy in. We're going to see if it helps me merge off of the highway this time. Hopefully. This is like a 10 kilometer drive and I have like 50 kilometers left. So good luck to me. Yesterday, clearly I had a lot of fun with this car. I drove it everywhere just to kind of like test drive the car. I love that the doors open like that. And even it will like be aware of the cars around you and it will only open a little bit and won't touch the cars. 
these seats also support cooling and not just heating all the seats obviously are heated so are mine actually because i have the longer range with the higher battery those are the only ones i can think of on the top of my head and obviously this car is bigger and seats a lot more people if you are considering both cars this car is a lot slower like my car because it also has the acceleration boost and i guess it's because it's also smaller that it is freaking fast oh my god what is happening i need to know Okay guys, I am currently at the Tesla location to pick up my car. Look at all of these Teslas around. Look at that. I didn't finish recording while I was self-driving because I still obviously need to pay attention to the road. Just because you're self-driving doesn't mean you are doing other things. I mean, I was looking at you guys for a little bit, but I always had my eyes on the road and also eyes on the screen. So if you guys didn't know this about self-driving, they have like reminders here and there for you to touch the wheel or like touch the buttons because the minute you don't, I think they deactivate it for you. I don't know I never got to the stage where I totally ignore the signals because I don't know what happens to me like do you take my privileges away like I don't know is this like a parent so I'm gonna go in to get my car now and I will see you guys in a bit I got the new update and I am gonna try summoning the car now so let's see what happens I've never done this before opening up the Tesla app first of all I'm gonna turn on my climate so it's heating up summon Nice. What do I do? Forward? Mm -hmm. you gotta oh, oh, I gotta hold it? Oh no, I just tapped it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yay! They see me rolling, they hate it. And then now what? Push the stop. Is that it? That's it. Before I officially part with the loner Model X, I'm just gonna show you how the door auto opens and how the side doors open as well. Did you make this car dance? No. <laughs> How do you do that? It dances. Oh my god, you have to show me. No, I thought you said did you make a dent, and I'm like, no, no, I no. am a good you driver. A it's really loud. Yeah, I'm using everything. Uh, I have my like, kids play lightsaber with smoke bombs in front of it. Really? And open. I freaking love this car. Bye car! Hi guys! Okay, so I just got back home. Unfortunately, I could not vlog my way home because it was nothing exciting since the cameras were still calibrating, so I couldn't self-drive my way back, unfortunately. So I think that will have to be saved for another time. I think I also need to watch some more YouTube videos on how to self-drive because the additional self-driving features are, I guess, like a little bit more complicated. So I'm gonna educate myself a little bit more before I actually take it on the road. Right now, I'm still in the car because some of the other things I ordered for my car has finally come in. By the way, if you guys also have this car or are interested in what I'm buying, I have a Instagram story highlights that you guys can check out. The first thing that I bought is a new USB thing for sentry mode, which is basically recording your car at all freaking times. So anytime anyone comes near my car, I see you, okay? Like in my last video, I have explained I am just so paranoid now when people hit my car because I had a couple of hit and run incidences Okay, not a couple like one, but still it's still significant So now I bought a USB stick that is actually a lot higher. It's like 32 gigabytes or something like that I also bought this thing for the armrest I think this is supposed to give me kind of like a garbage can type of thing. Where does this go? If you guys don't know already, like Eric is actually the true influencer and I just get everything that he tells me to buy. This is just one of the things he has asked me to buy. Ew, I need to clean that. So let me just call him. Where's my phone? Okay, I legitimately had to go into my Amazon orders just to see what this was for. It's just for this area here. So this has this big thing here and then this I can put my sunglasses. Oh, that was kind of a fail. But that's kind of the idea. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet, actually. 